Hello, how are you guys doing? My name's Heather for anybody that's new to my channel and I would like to just give a brief background. I am a sinner from the past and Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, has given me new life. So everything that I do on this channel, I give him all the glory because it is only because of him that I am part of the body of Christ. And I'm hoping that these messages that I share will bring other uh, non-believers to him. Uh, today, I'm going to title this Spiritual Ark. And I encourage everybody to read Luke chapter 17. I'm going to be reading a few verses out of that chapter. But basically, uh, Jesus was speaking to his disciples of spiritual wickedness to come. And are we seeing children being led astray in wickedness today? I think that anybody could easily see this around us where God has been taken out of the schools, they weren't, aren't allowed to pray anymore or read out of the Bible, and uh, what they're replacing it with is this belief that anything goes as long as it makes you feel good and you're not hurting anybody. So. Uh, we've all seen it in the news where um, people are coming, dressed men dressed as women, to teach children, to read, the, read to them stories, and teaching them acceptance of uh, this type of behavior, and um, teaching them that all people should be loved and um, accepted, and that if uh, a child all of a sudden decided that they wanted to change their gender because they're curious or having feelings, uh, they should be um, told that that was okay and they can go on and uh, just become whatever they want to be with no um, moral uh, condemnation from the general public. Basically, parents are told what and how to teach their children that anything goes and just to do what makes you feel good. So pushing God out of the schools and making it about love and acceptance of all people and beliefs. Well, of course God does love all people. I came from a background of um, being in that type of lifestyle um, and it wasn't until the Lord really made it clear to me that I was living in sin that I you know I kept pushing it back and uh, saying I'm not hurting anybody and um, this is how I was made and this is how God created me so he must be okay with what I'm doing well that's the enemy making you believe that what you're doing is okay. So anyway, God still loved me even when I was living in deep sin. And, uh, but, you know, he did take all sin to the cross so that people could, you know, is, did he do that so that people could continue to sin? No, God forbid. How can we as believers be the light to those in darkness without turning them away from Christ because we are pushing our beliefs on them? So that's where, um, you know, I myself have done this as well. I've tried to push my beliefs and um, try and make people believe and listen to me and... Um, the only thing it ever did was just push people away and probably push them away from Christ as well. Not good. So we each have a testimony about how Christ changed our lives and how we think. We all lived in sin and in the darkness that 
That's why the Bible says confess your sins one to another. Be open and honest with people that ask why you act how you do. Live by example, not looking down your nose at people, but looking at them through the eyes of Christ with love. Do you think Christ went on that cross and he was just looking down his nose at all the sin and, you know, he was saying how great he is and how, um, you know, without sin he was? No, he was looking at you and me and every single person that has been created through him. He was looking at each one's heart and looking at how much he loved them enough to take all their sins away and to that cross. That's how he was looking at people and that's how he wants us to look at people as well with no condemnation, no judgment. Well, how can we look at others with no judgment and uh, show them love if we don't uh, agree with what they're doing? Well, we can take a step back and remember that we also lived a life of sin. That doesn't mean we have to condone their sin and agree with what they're doing, but we're going to be a light to those that are in the darkness and just live by example and show them Christ in us. So being a living testimony, a witness of the light that is in you, people will wonder then let them know how much Jesus loves them and wants a real relationship with them. And for them, we should tell them to ask Jesus Christ into their hearts and re ask him to reveal himself to them. We are the spiritual ark. The body of Christ is here now on earth as a spiritual ark, like in the days of Noah. We find refuge in the body of Christ from the wickedness that is consuming so many in darkness. Being a light in that darkness to someone is showing them there is hope. Now, I'd like to read when uh, Jesus was speaking to his disciples, uh, Luke chapter 17, um, verse 2 says, It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. And on down to verse 26, it says, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat and they drank. They married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day... He which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife, whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will, will the eagles be gathered together. We are the body of Christ, and we are gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ, and we are lights in the darkness to them as well, to be a beacon for them to come 
to the light, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So God bless each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for listening and coming to my channel. And please uh, like and share this video with anybody that you feel uh, could benefit from it and come to the Lord.